Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One single mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Sorry to toss you about the room like that, but you are indeed a nasty customer. Now, just in case, let's uh, go ahead and get some of the venom out. Hey, Yeller, is that interesting, huh? Hmm? Like watching TV? Yeah. Yeah. Like watching those sneakies? Hmm? Yeah. Once, for a company that sells lots of forceps, I like a pair of forceps that it really sort of worked well one day up here. Okay. Why not? Since uh, I've got it in my hot little hands. This is the pointy end. of a Bothrops Aatrox. You know the size of that, that's not terribly small. Come on. Ooh. We have two. This, this one, come on. You know, one day I'm gonna throw this camera against the wall when it's not focused. We have the current fang, and we have a replacement fang ready to go. So, speaking of going... Okay, well, they're, the mambas are feeding. Oh, hey, Mr. Brown. How you doing, bud? Looking for chicks in a tree? Well, you should come over here. Because I've got one right here that has your name on it. Whoa! Whoa! He is such a monster! Is that good though, huh? Wow, I hope I caught the uh, head uh, uh, thrashing uh, part so uh, we can uh, see that in slow motion. Wow, that looked awesome and from where I saw it. Hey, bud, you want a chick? Huh? He's been really, really active. Uh, taking a swing at me whenever he gets a chance, but it's a feeding uh, strike and not... Uh, Not a defensive strike.
There's the misses back there. All right, we'll make it easy on them. Oh, good shot. There you go. Don't wiggle your tail too much there, bud. Uh, otherwise, the missus might bite it. Oh, look at you. You're happy. Oh, yeah. That's a happy rugosis. Okay, now for the big beast. Oh, you're not going to waste any time, huh? You're just going to gobble it. Since she's sort of up in the air and has her mouth open a bit, we'll see, uh, we'll see if we can uh, watch her eat here for a minute. Looks like she has two fangs on the left side. Oh, we're going to eat the chicky tail first. Mmm, that's my favorite way. How you doing, bud? You're doing okay, too. My hand is, uh, well, probably 10 inches from the, from the boy, but... He's generally a good character, and he's uh, he's busy eating, and he's eating a tail first too. So I have, you know, there's some snakes I am more comfortable with, and have more uh, uh, faith, I guess, that uh, they'll behave themselves. Others I don't. I'm a dragon creature. Doesn't oh, she look cool? I really love Death Adders. Predator Beast. Oh, that's awesome how she's framed there in the leaves. Oh, that's very nice. Look at that. Hey, you better hurry up because the guy is uh is really got it down there and uh his weapon system's going to be back online. And I would rather not be within uh, range. Come on, hurry up. You look very impressive, but, you know, please eat. I think I'll have to snap a picture because she looks very impressive. Well, now this is a problem. The pogo stick with venom here uh, shed but incompletely off the top of the head from what I can see. Um, subsequently, I am going to release the beast and uh, give her a spray down. Yeah, I know you don't like to get wet. That's why you got uh, uh, stuff left on your head. So I give her a good wet down and maybe she'll uh, remove the remainder on her own and I won't have to tube her and uh, play those sort of snake games. Certainly shedding out a Bothrops Atrox is not 
my idea of a good way to start an evening. And the shit is all uh, intertwined in there. So let's see if she can do that on her own. If not, I have to go in after her eventually. See, here's what happened. Uh, uh, come on, focus. She, she got the bottom done okay, but the whole head part is missing the top of her head. Uh, that's not any fun. It's not any fun. Oh well, that's the way it goes. When you play the Venomous Snake game, uh, you're bound to lose eventually. I'm going to feed the Eastern Brown here. It's always interesting. It's, it's a somewhat shy snake. But then again, it definitely likes eating. Come on, girly. Come on, girly. There you go. Whoa. Oh, good job. You know, most people think, uh, when they think Australian lapids, they're thinking neurotoxins. Yeah, well, they got a few of those in their venom. But the vast majority of them, oops. Well, it's better than, better that she's shy than, here you go. Than interested in biting me. You're okay. Go on. There you go. Um, they have pre and post synaptic neurotoxins, but just for good measure, they have all sorts of procoagulants and hemorrhagins and uh, probably some myotoxins, if I remember correctly. And the number one thing that kills people short term. It's not the neurotoxins, it's these, these procoagulants. They cause, uh, they cause uh, microclots to be formed in your bloodstream. And when those clots hit your coronary arteries or some of the cerebral arteries, uh, down you go. And it's for the count, too. This is one snake that you need serum in you and fast. Hey, pissy boy. Hey, pissy boy. Oh, God. <laughs> Shh. Hey, bud. You were just hooding real nicely uh, in your pissy mode, huh? You gonna make something out of it? Huh? No? Huh? How about if I do that? No? You're looking for something to eat? No, you're not going to get pissy at this, huh? Alright, alright. I just misunderstood. Usually when he uh, lays there with his hood spread, it means that he's in piss mode. So I figured I would visit with him. How are you? Oh, you're in hood mode. Oh, stop it. Oh, stop it. What are you going to do about it? Huh? Oh, yeah, put that hood away. You're going to hurt yourself. Going to get Tripsy over here to beat on your ass. I'm going to whoop your head. Huh? Oh, yeah, who's that handsome devil? Who's that handsome devil? Huh? Uh-oh. Here he comes. Oh, you got your, uh, your testosterone flowing again, huh? Yeah. Who's that handsome snake, huh? Oh, you know, you gotta watch them when you retreat. 
don't have my glasses on, so I can't tell if that's focused. <laughs> oh, you're a big, uh, big wimpy. Oh, it's the black beast. The black beast is never foul. How are you, bud? Huh? Where's your head? Oh, way down there. Hello. Hello. Oh, I got your attention. Okay. Put that mouth away. No, we're not coming out. We're not coming out. We just visited. That's all. That's all. Look at this foul beastie girl. This little Bothrops Venezuelensis. Let's see if I can get her to do this again. We're in the process of force feeding her. And when I walked by to, to go put the camera away a minute ago, she like, you know, did several strikes towards the edge of the table. Of course, now that the camera's running, she won't do that for me, will you, huh? Huh? Oh, there's the big camera. Oh, come on, focus you toady. Come on, I don't want to tilt it too much because it's right in her face. Hello, oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that is just gorgeous. Look at those big pupils. She it means business. Look at that. That's just awesome. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. you want to watch the birdie? Oh, watch the hand. There you go. Oh, you little monster. Oh, aren't you cute though? Isn't she gorgeous? Bothrops Venezuelensis. Can you imagine her? She's she's 10 centimeters long, you know, maybe six inches, not even, and she's a terror like this. Can you guys imagine when she gets to like four feet how much fun she'll be? Well, here'll be your real chance to watch Viper Keeper get chomped. Whoa, she's gorgeous. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm backing off. Scare me away. You're gonna scare me away? Come on. Oh. Come on, come on. Oh. Here, bite this hook. Oh, 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 there we go. Oops, sorry. I bopped you on the head accidentally. Oh, she's a meanie. Oh, look at that. She's a vicious monster. We'll get her to expend some venom because I am going to... Uh, uh, oh, you like that, huh? Because I am going to be uh, force feeding her. We don't want her to get too wound up. Uh, but uh, we want her to to bite and use some venom because then there's less venom if I screw up. Okay, well, I don't know if she expended any. I don't see that the hook is very wet. Uh, but, uh, all right, we're going to go ahead and pin her now and, uh, and uh, force feed her. Eh, aren't they cute? I love when they head stack like that. That's that's very very cool. You know, if I open the glass, uh, they will assume a different position. But uh, I just wanted to uh, briefly show you that uh, they do uh, like each other com each other's company. Some uh, some species, some species don't. Uh, these. Uh, Jameson Mamba seem to be gregarious. Uh, they like each other's company. They're a lot more calmer in each other's company than if you keep them uh, in solitary, so to speak. Uh, they're less prone to be flighty, more prone to heal and eat and do all that stuff uh, that you're supposed to do. And that's the big guy, he's inching forward because he, he smells mouse because tonight was live feeding night. <laughs>